Hello, I'm Steve, and thank you for visiting the Patio Heat Channel, where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for ideal patio comfort. Check out our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful as it helps others find our channel. Now let's get heating. All right, so here we have this residential application, and as you can see here, it's a rather large uh, space, and let's go ahead and look right into the dimensions here. So overall dimensions, I have this span from outer post to outer post at 40 feet. And then this dimension here is at 20 feet outside to outside. Also the um, roof uh, apex up here would be at 14 feet. And the support post here I have at 10 feet. I believe there'll probably be a beam on top of this um, support here, but I don't have any of the uh, ceiling plans here as far as what might be up in this area so I'm just gonna leave it at that and show a couple of different options that um, I would recommend for overall heating of a space this large so let me go ahead and turn that off and I'm going to turn on the first option here first option would be to place each one of these um, eight units uh, these are 6000 watt 240 volt uh, CD 6024 Infratech heaters and they're basically placed in the center of this span here, this 10 by 10. And each one of these would represent that same 10 by 10 span roughly. So um, they are centered and I have them at nine foot three inches off the ground so that this point right here would be about nine foot three inches off the ground here. All right, let's go ahead and look at the uh, footprint of heat. Now this would be my preferred application if I could because of the fact that we have a nice even flow of heat throughout the whole space. You can see that uh, in the center here if there was a table that there wouldn't be um, the perfect amount of uh, coverage in the center but if there was a table something similar to what I have here then the coverage would be just fine with, with regards to um, you know people sitting on the outer perimeter of that table. Um, also here you see we have this uh, reclining space here on this uh, half of the patio and over here you can also see that uh, for the most part we have a really good coverage throughout that span as well. Also the fact that all these heaters will be uniformly um, heating up the space so you know you can have a control system let's say maybe a four zone control system here where you have um, you know, you can have the capability of changing this side here to one temperature and then moving this one up five degrees, something of that nature, um, and then so on as far as your um, preferred temperatures. All right, so that would be one um, option and again, my preferred option. The second option would be doing something where the heaters were on the perimeter of the uh, space. And so these heaters are the same model, 6,000 watt, 240 volt, uh, CD 6024s, and I have them actually mounted um, uh, presumably on the ceiling, and they're at the same height as the bottom of this um, beam or these posts. The, I should say the top of the post, but the bottom of where the beam might uh, be. You could also mount the uh, brackets to the beam itself, but it would be a little bit higher, and you'd have to um, make sure that we're not uh, interfering with any clearances. So here's just a an illustration of what the clearances might be um, with these supports here we are kind of getting really close to what that clearance might be but uh, this should not be an issue if there was an issue then we could just simply move the heater further out possibly or something of that nature I do have these heaters at a 25 degree angle pointed towards the center and let's see if there's anything else that we need to talk about here I think that's good um, Clearances above are uh, no problem here as well. And let me go ahead and turn that off and we'll go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. Sorry about that. Footprint of heat, you can see here that, uh, you know, as the heat travels through space, um, it, it depreciates as far as its intensity. And so if you were sitting over here, it would be much warmer than it would be over here. Um, but you do have the possibility of having some crossover rays. Um, and that's why I don't. I'd prefer not to have it this way here because this is the furthest that the heater is really going to, um, the intensity is going to be acceptable as far as the seating position. Now, obviously, if you we were sitting in this chair, you wouldn't be up against the table, so it would be back here somewhere, so you would be in that um, element. 
Um, the same is true with over here. So it really kind of depends on how um, you prefer to visually see the application. So if you'd prefer to see them on the perimeter, it would work well, but if you can place them in the center, I think that would work best. All right, well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you would like us to review your plans, please send your information to designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve, and please hit that like button. Uh, you, we don't advertise, we don't monetize, and YouTube algorithms will only promote our site if we get more likes. So I really appreciate that. All right, have a great day.